Welcome to the Michael Bartholomew ASMR stream where he chews ice and drinks out of his favorite cup. <laughs> I can only wonder what that sounded like actually. It was probably really it was probably real good. What do we take here? The Niv Mizzet, right? I think so. Is it Niv Boy? Also Vindicate. Vindicate's real good too, and it's a foil. My god. Niv Mizzet does look like one of the Jaces that we're gonna open in the next two packs though, so that's pretty Is that cool. the one you can win with Curiosity or is it the other one? Uh, whenever you draw a card, it deals one damage to a thing. Okay. Um, I think everyone else thought the curiosity combo was correct. I don't think it's. I don't think there's a combo with curiosity here. I mean, it lets you draw an extra card to deal an extra damage. Uh, freed from the real is good because you can draw, untap, draw, untap. So Niv Mizzet and Freed from the real is a pretty good combo. But oh yeah, by the way, we're taking the Niv Mizzet. That is. This is the curiosity one. How? Curiosity says whenever the creature deals combat damage. Is Curiosity combat damage or regular damage? I think it's just damage. Really? Oh, interesting. Okay. Okay. That's pretty good. Uh, I like Self-Assembler here. I don't think I've ever taken a Self-Assembler, but having a couple of them is pretty good. What does good. it do? Uh, it's a 4 4 5 Whenever it enters the battlefield, you may search your library for an, an Assembly Worker yeah, okay, so this is an assembly worker. So you can search for another one of these, basically. Oh, so it's a big ass squadron hawk. Yeah, it's a big yeah, it's a big ass squadron hawk. That's good. Okay. Alright, so people are definitely uh they they know that we picked new visits, so now they're just gonna give us all the good blue red cards. Which is kinda cool. That is cool of them to do that. That is I think it's really sweet of them. They're really Take nice. A sift or a bear. I like Sift better than the bear. Oh, the Phantasmal bear? Mm-hmm. That dude's doo-doo. I'd rather Aww. take Mage over bear. He ain't doo-doo. You doo-doo. That's pretty rude, I think. No. Sift is pretty... Yeah, Sift is easy. Especially with Niv-Mizzet, man. We draw, this is deal three. Oh, you guys are going to tell me to take this Brainstorm, but I really don't like Brainstorm, even with Niv-Mizzet. Really nothing else, though. You're right. I guess we'll just take it. Maybe we'll, maybe we'll niv into it. You like this guy, don't you? Yeah. yeah. We also get boots and put it on the niv mizzet. Woo. It's not the Neko Bolas I'm looking for. It's not, but... No, we're not doing that. That's greedy. I think it's just Skeleton Eyes, right? Skeleton Eyes. They're watching you. They see your every move, baby. Actually, we think the harp had the heavy arbalest in case we get a crab, which we're hoping to get a crab. I will heavily prioritize crab in this in this draft. Eh. Eh. Eh is right. Actually, draw two. We got to miss it. Whatever. Nicopolis is a good counter to Iwamori. That is not wrong. But you know what else is? Or, uh, you know, you said Nickel Bullets, Niv Mizzet is, so. You know, you know, you know what's up. Alright, you should have everything you need to make it work now. <laughs> oh, alright, sweet. Where, where, where should I have this, this thing? Discord? Should I check the Discord? All right, update my profile. Oh, perfect. Perfect. That's from Street Fighter. Perfect. Uh, take the war drums, I guess. Whatever. Card could be fine if we get a bunch of hordling outbursts. None of these cards are good. I'll just take Ancient Staring. Maybe it's worth a, a thing. <laughs> wow. Oh, Monsonster. That is gas, dude. I'm a fan of what you did. Hmm. None of these cards are very good. Bear time. Bear feels real bad. Every time someone plays a bear against me, I end up targeting with something real stupid. 
So but, I didn't even. I didn't even take but it. But it's a two-two for one. Yeah. He attack. Yeah. Uh, look, we got a pretty sweet red green deck over on the sideboard. Meh. Yeah, you're right. What's that noise? What just happened? It's a steam noise. Is it? Yeah. I went, oh, that's a good one. It's your boy ensnaring Bridgers. 22 ticks. Ticky wickies. Oh, it is 20. Ear, ear, wow. Ear, How did you know ear, that? Because we went over it the other day. I thought that was Crucible. Whatever. I'm still taking the 20 ticks. This is why we do what we do. Oh, I was hoping that was a Jace. It wasn't, though. You're right. It's not a Jace. No, they didn't pass us a Jace, unfortunately. Actually, this is it's funny because this is kind of an ensnaring bridge deck because we can still deal damage with Quicksilver Dagger and Niv-Mizzet and Heavy Arbalist. Like, we have tons of ways to deal damage outside of... Uh... Eh, I don't know about that. Really? Oh, which one is it? We could also take a Kindle. Hmm. Three, three crab plus helix and arbalist. I three out. Yeah, that's that was one of my three O's as well. I don't know if Mike was here for that. Not familiar. Not familiar. Let's take a man of war. Really? Mm hmm. Over the briny? So you want to live that Kindle life. Wow, so. Hmm. So, so man of war. So Brian almost was third for you, huh? Mm hmm. I think I like Kindle better. Brian Pickles Jellyfish. All right, so Kindle's worse for you guys. Interesting. I think Multiple Mana Wars is really good. Oh. That just wins the game, right? Uh, Essentially, yeah, because we... Actually, it is. It's an infinite combo, isn't it? Just tap, draw a card. It deals the damage, right? This guy... You tap Nymph Mizzet to deal to the damage. Uh -huh. And then you draw a card. Uh -huh. Because Curiosity. Right. And then the card... Deals one damage. Right. And then it causes you to draw a card. Yeah, that's infinite combo, right? Someone let me know if I'm mistaken. I like Kindle if we prioritize them. I think you always prioritize Kindle, but when you're starting in the second pack and you're only getting your first Kindle, I feel like it's harder to do. Psy could be good. Could just be Shoreline Ranger. Psy, yeah, yeah. Is that your Psyduck impression? Mm -hmm. That was pretty good. Psy, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's one of these two, I think. Sweet. Monsonster just gifted me the the player the the PUBG. Now we can PUBG, bro. You can. <laughs> Here, Frank, it's a game. Play it sometime. Invite me, don't invite me. doesn't matter. Just enjoy. No one puts baby in the corner. Kerblam signed your mom in the kitchen with onions. Fantastic. Uh, as long as you're on deck ourselves, Willbender is great. I actually do kind of like Willbender. I want to try the Willbender out. Oh, Freed from the Real is also a combo. It's a build your own crab. I usually don't like this, but... Build we'll, your own crab. Yeah, <laughs> you tap it to untap your crab on your creature. It's a do it your it's a it's a it's a do it yourself crab. I'll have the build your own crab. <laughs> oh, one build your own crab, please. God, we're barely red except for Niv Mizzet. Good lord. It's not getting any better. It's a primal clay. Ooh, seven mana though. I like two drop. Why don't you tell me many two drops? All right. Genjo of the Falls is fine. Balduvian Horde was actually fine when we had it. So Enchanted Island. Island becomes a 3-2 spirit with flying until end of turn. It just never dies, really. Maybe that's good. It just feels really mana intensive. You could try it out. <sighs> sure. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Pickles came back. Yeah, like a pickle for a wickle. 
A wiggle for a pickle. Don't lie. Frank, Mike, I'm out of here going to... Cool. Going to save your standard PSA. Brought the numbers out. Thanks for another amazing day. Elk Tears, have a good night, buddy. You are awesome. Glad you were here, as always. Arcane Denial. All right. All these cards are pretty decent. You don't like Denial in the main? Oh, Blue Sun's Zenith. What were you going to say? Blue Sun's Blenith? Blenith, yeah. I don't actually think we need this. I'd rather just have the Kindle. We don't have a ton of removal, and we have a lot of ways to draw cards. Okay. Oh, that's a good land. It is a good land. That's a Fixerino. It's also a Skeleton Eyes. Or... Also, if we only get one of these guys, it's just not even worth it. Actually, this will probably come back, I bet. And it's only like a... Whatever. I don't think it's Zenith here. Zenith is really mana-intensive. Yeah, I don't. I also yeah. I also consider. I feel like Blue Sun will it wheel. Add to my leper burper. Add to your leper burper. Mm-hmm. No, Arbalist can come out unless we have a crab. I don't like that. I actually don't really like this a ton. We don't have many double blue or double red cards until Niv Mizzet. I honestly don't think we need the fixing. I think we do need more creatures like Ghost Ship though. Ghost Ride Ship. I like a counter spell. Yep. I, I hope Blue Elemental Blast comes back. And nothing. Pretty rough. Oh, self assembler. Actually, that's pretty good. Sweet. Eh, Skeleton eyes or Balduvian horde, I guess. What do you think it is, Michael? I'd horde here. We need a four drop. Your mother's a horde. Wow. Got him. I think he got my mom, not really me. Ha! Got him. Wow. Could be pyroclasm here. I also don't like self assembly number three. Why not? Or don't mind, rather. That's what I meant. I meant don't mind. Take it. Take number three. Yeah. Over pyroclasm. Yeah. <sighs> pyroclasm kills everything. It's so good. We gotta take pyroclasm. All right. It's so good in this format. It's more. It's a more format. It's a more format. Let me take this Fathom Seer. Another Genju? Oh, another Skeleton Eyes. This is also an Assembly Worker, just so you know. I like Skeleton Eyes. This is a Kaladesh card? A Self Assembler is a Kaladesh card? Skeletons don't have eyes, Mike. Don't they? We didn't get a single damn crab. What'd you say? Got a lot of skeletonizes though. More than we'll play. There's a lot of dark rituals. You probably could have like five dark rituals here. All right, we need two cuts here. Cut one of these guys, I guess. Just saw you 3-0 with crab combo in match three, game three. You dropped the dagger and I went nuts. <laughs> oh, I think we drew like uh, five cards that turn. Let's get the brainstorm. I agree. I like I like your I like where your head's at. But, that ain't but the brainstorm, the most powerful spell in all of Legacy. This is really, this is what you guys want? <laughs> you know what's good about against the crab combo? Man of War. Oh, another self assembler. That's pretty good. How many, too many self assemblers? Uh, four? I think three is actually a good number. I can see cutting something else here. I think two is just fine. I think two is good. It's pretty man intensive. I agree. Yeah, I like this deck. 11-6. No, we're still going to go 10-9 because we still want double red for Horde and for Fire Guy. Fire Guy. I called Niv-Mizzet the Fire Guy. <laughs> 
Is it good with shuffle effect in this deck? Yeah, you know, yeah. Brain, everyone overrates brainstorm. It's really funny. Man, you got to be a good friend, letting this Mitch. I agree with you. You're welcome. Thanks for nothing. Wow. See what I have to deal with. And we got the ensnaring bridge. Everything's turning up. Go on. That's it. No, I think you were gonna say everything. I think you were trying to say everything's coming up Millhouse. But then you ruined it. Like you ruined your life. <laughs> <laughs> Do we play this Coral Helm guy, or do we just hope to Pyroclasm? I kind of want to hope to Pyroclasm. I think we just wait to Pyroclasm. A bold strategy. You're a bold strategy. Cotton. I just hope we keep hitting lands. Oh, boy. We're on it. They seem like they're a big green deck. Maybe the Pyroclasm is not great against them, so. We'll play this guy, see what happens. Quick Silver Dagger seems meh. That's weird. But it combos. No, oh, I guess I'll sack this guy. What was it combo with? It combos with Freed from the Real. Doesn't it combo with Nimbus? How does it do that? You tap, you deal a damage. Right. You draw a card. Right. And that's it. Correct. <laughs> That's the combo. Nailed it. You're gonna oh you're gonna cycle another horror of the broken lands. Alright. Zombify. Is that you? How do you make so many noises? I'm a noisy boy. I'm your zombify, your zombify, and let me remember. I like that you zombify in horror, and then we just bounced it. It's like nothing ever happened. I'll just hard cast it then. I'm your zombie man, your zombie man. You know me? This is a Rob Zombie song, right? No. Really? Really, no. Really? I don't believe you. No, well, you can Google it. What can I Google? Zombie Man? Yeah. Rob Zombie Man? See, I'm a big fan of this, because now we just get to shoot and keep this guy forever. Maybe not forever, but drawing a bunch of extra cards seems good. Even if we miss a land drop here. Did you just scratch your beard? I did. Was it because of the beard spiders? Obviously. I'm sorry about your beard spiders. What if they go cycle, cycle, cycle here? And we take 4, 5, 6, 7, we take 10. That'd be amazing, right? It'd be something. Send me a fallen angel. Right now. Shoot you. Alright, so next turn we do got... Never... Senor Niver. Did we get the other half? What's the other half? Uh, seven mana to combo with Niv? What are we talking about? I don't know what's going on right now. Are we talking about Brainstorm? I agree with you. I don't think Brainstorm is good enough. I want to block here. If you want to discard a card, it's totally fine. I'll cycle by twisted a bobbly boblation. Oh, Mike doesn't need a draft. He's master of draft. I don't know if that's true. It's true. Wow, really? I didn't know that. <gasps> oh, 
Hey, that's a combo. Hey, that's pretty good. I don't think we're actually playing Niv Mizzet here. Might just be self assembly then flip Brine Elemental next turn. We're getting a little low on health though here. You could just put the Freed from Real on the Quicksilver guy. It doesn't do anything for us, that's the problem. Why not? What do you mean? Because. Gun tap and deal damage. Right, but like we're taking a lot of damage here. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Like, we don't have enough mana to... We can kindle this guy. Take seven. We can't deal three damage with the Quicksilver Dagger anymore, right? Do we do that? No. Well, it's not creature. It's just player. Oh, okay. That'd be sick, though. Hmm. Could just kindle the Phyrexian Ghoul and then like God, one more mana would be great. Uh, I definitely want a Pyroclasm here because then it kills both of our guys. That seems pretty rough, especially when we can Brine Elemental next turn. I think it's actually just Self Assembler. Did they play? Um, they revealed Swamp and then they played Ghoul, so we know they have a Swamp in hand. My name is Michael. I was raised in Jalapeno Chip Factory. Alright, this is a fine attack for us, actually. Well, for them. You know what I'm saying. Oh, that was a good trade. I'll, I'll make that trade all day. Alright, they played a swamp, so. All done. Five mana. That's a good one. That's a solid gentleman. Zombie horror. Twisted. Look how I spelled horror. <laughs> Huro. I just added a second O and a W in there. That was pretty that was pretty fun. I thought that was just the name of your next juggalo band. It is. They call me Huro Baggins. Huh. It's a good trade. They're good trades, Brent. Pass. Right now. I mean, if we top deck Curiosity in one of the next two cards, we can actually probably win because uh, we could shoot with this to trigger Niv Mizzet for the first time, and then the Curiosity would take over from there. Oh, the chosen color is white. That's interesting. Yeah, I'll take two. <sighs> right now. I feel like they have path. It's making me real scared. I'm apprehensive. Boo. 
Woohoot. Now they need answers. Horror gone. All right. Boom, boom, boom. That is just fine. Actually, we probably want to kill this guy, right? So we're going to six, which makes this fallen angel a lot scarier than it, than it should be. If we kill the bat, they just sack it to one of these two. So we want to kill one of these guys now. If we if we try to kill the fallen angel, they're just going to sack this guy to it. If we try to kill this, they're going to do it anyway. Fallen Angel is actually really obnoxious, unfortunately. Killing the ghoul as a sorcerer doesn't do anything. Because they can still sack it to the... I, oh, we could do it during our turn, sure, but then like they can still play this guy. Um... We didn't play it as a sorcery because it's just not a good play. Like, we were, our intention, if they don't play a guy like this, is to block. And then when they sacrifice their guy, we can kindle and shoot. Uh, which kills it. And then they have to sacrifice another thing. Unfortunately, we go to six. So we actually were priced into blocking here, which is really obnoxious. Yeah, all right. It is what it is. Are you choosing me? That's weird. You don't want to choose yourself? Too bad. Amateurs. Yep. All the dudes. Bow bow bow. Gross. Deal a damage to a thing. Sure, shoot this guy. <laughs> they knew what's happening. And if you want to sack this guy in response, you're more than welcome to do so. Nope. All board dies. All right. Sounds good. We may have Twisted Abomination in hand. Our hand is pretty good. Actually, Dragon's Eye Savance is great because it blocks your stupid idiot forever. Actually, Freed from the Reel is also great. So we can just play out our whole hand and then just start attacking for six every turn. I think we're actually in a great position here. Oh, they're just cycling that. Interesting. Is that better than a Twisted Abomination? Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
11 land? Is, is Was your 11th... L- Ooh. Uh, I guess it. I guess it was. Sure. Well, they always have it, don't they? So we get Niv Mizzet back. This is interesting. So you can actually sack this and replay it again. No, you can't. You have to actually put the targets on now. So there's no time. You actually get nothing back. Sure. Uh, what are we bouncing? One, two, three, four, five. Probably the Fallen Angel, right? Yeah, but then they just replay it. I'm actually tempted to bounce itself. Huh. One, two, three, four, five, six. They have six mana. Uh, choose target creature. God, what gets bounced here? Like, if we bounce mana where we can actually do some things. sure bounce itself that's the tech here bouncing six drops makes him tap out but we like i don't think we care about him tapping out though <laughs> like it does doesn't matter like they have one card in hand man the one the one time uh i'm not playing against living end or the one time i'm not expecting a living end is when <laughs> of course your one card is vindicate of wow. course it is. Yeah, that's pretty much game, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We have four blockers. We can kill one. Puts us to six to six. Sure. <laughs> oh, wow. That's great. I'm glad you didn't sack it to the ghoul because then we wouldn't have gotten the token. That's pretty sweet. Vindicate is your last card. That's just hilarious. It's pretty interesting attacks here. We're still actually not dead. So you're gonna just go block four four, block four four, block five four, block this guy, and block this guy. Angel is one of your only cards in hand. And we're committed to spending three on the turn. We have those. Right, but that's life. We can also just tap one of their guys. We can tap this angel down forever. Which we might have to do, actually. Actually, we're dead to both. I think we're dead. Yeah, I don't think we could have attacked there. That was pretty bad. Defeating Man Warrior Dying to Fall Angel on the attack. Yeah, that's the other thing. Um, block here. God, they're all lethal. Yeah, that was pretty bad. I mean, I guess we could... No, we're one mana shy. We could Pyroclasm and then Freed from the rail, but then we're one mana shy of actually doing anything. Why attack? Because I, I got I convinced myself that uh, that we were fine. It was just, it was a mistake, so we don't have to condescendingly question why attack. 
Um, unless they don't sack something, which is pretty cool. That's never happening. Yep. All right. What is Pyroclasm Skelly kills this guy, but then they still have 5 3. So that really doesn't do anything, is the problem. Yep. Sure. It's game one. Good lord. Mm -hmm. I kind of like Ensnaring Bridge. I'm pretty sure they just have no way to deal with an Ensnaring Bridge, right? Probably not. They do have a Vindicate, so. They do have a Vindicate. Which I guess they're splashing off of like one Utopia Sprawl? Yep. Weird. Cut this stupid flamekin. I'll just bring it in snaring bridge. I do like do kind of like pillage to kill the Utopia Sprawl land. I mean, we already have a counter spell for the Living Death. I don't know if we want. Eh, actually, let's just bring another counter spell. Bring an Arcane Denial. That's fine. I like if they plan for um the big Living Death, and then we just get to counter it. That's pretty good. Also, we can just put Dagger on this guy and start going to town. One less damage. You're trading one damage a turn for a card. Seems like a good deal. What do you think? Oh, this... Is uh, not bad. Is not bad. Oh, I wish you could deal with the creatures, though. Send me a manger right now. What do you need a manger for? Oh, uh, that's where I sleep. Oh. Ba boom 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 ba boom ba boom boom. Kapow. Like it. Like it. Dang it! Ah! Oh. Bother. Just never going to choose to attack over drawing a card. That doesn't seem good. And Snaring Bridge doesn't seem the best. In the, yeah, but like the thing is, like we can deal a bunch of damage through those things. Yeah, I guess you're. I see your point there. We're drawing a lot of cards, so. Hey, it's a little spider again. At what point do you feel like you've uh, you've drawn enough cards with the uh, Coral Helm for it to be like you're like, oh, okay, it died, big deal. I think you've already hit that margin. I feel like even if they want a living death here, like they can actually cycle horror and then play living death next turn. Ugh, that's pretty scary. Do they just block here because they have living death? Of course they do. Oh no, no blocks. That's good to hear. That makes me feel good about my life choices. Cycle old old ash baron. Let's get a plains swamp. <laughs> good times, good times. 
I'll just take one if you attack. God, I'm so tired of this stupid fallen angel, man. I know I asked for an angel, but... Not that one. This is not the one. We're drawing two cards a turn, though. And they're paying the damage, the Phyrexian Arena damage. Ooh, there's curiosity. I know, we're halfway... We're halfway there! You just sift here. I was going to attack and maybe kindle this if they block. They're never blocking. I guess we could give it a shot, but... If they don't block, then they're just going to die. Well, like, we're not attacking any... We're not blocking, so... I like Sift for Niv, but I also like, uh... I also like just killing your Fallen Angel. You're in a Pyroclasm. Surprised there's no lands there. So now if they kill everything, we get a Mana War back, they get a Fallen Angel, Ember, we were about to the Fallen Angel. Oh, look, they drew a Plains. How nice. Eh. Take one. Before you living end. It's living death. I always say living end, but... You got it. Old Morvy. Huh. Hey, that's pretty good. It's not bad. It's pretty good. I feel like we just bounce this guy, right? We can play Genju of the Falls on land. That was a ruthless rippy. Snippy McRippy. Just play Genju on an island. It seems good, right? We can play Genju on an island, then play Dragon's Eye Spawns. Or we can actually just attack with the island. What do you think about that? Side. Nope, that's not what we're doing. <laughs> I mean, this puts them to eight. What does it say when Shannon, when the island's put in the graveyard to get that back? That's pretty good. We could put the curiosity in this guy. Draw two every time he every time he shoots. Vindicate on the... Alright. If you just kill this, then we get the... Then we don't get it back. That's weird. A bold strategy, Cotton. Ruthless Ripper again. You got it. That was not bad. For us. Actually, we haven't seen any roof of the rippers from them yet, so... That was the one that was revealed. Oh. <laughs> oh. I didn't know that part. Yeah, I did, though. That's why I said it, Mitchell. I thought you were just saying nonsense. I'm pretty sure we can actually just keep up Counterspell for the rest of the game and never have to worry about anything. Nothing? Nothing. Wow. Nothing. This guy's going to self-assemble, if you know what I mean. Huh? Nope. Yeah, that's unfortunate. No idea. I'm just going to pass here. I'll cycle my horror of the Broken Lands. No? All right, well. We have eight minutes. They have 14. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> Wait, what'd you laugh at that? Because you're dumb. Wow, you laughed at that because I'm dumb. 
Um, block you. Block you. I want to put all your guys in the trash can so you can play your stupid living end, living death, and I'll just counter it. Yeah, we know. Yeah, buddy, we know. Why do you flip that? Oh, yeah, he gets the life. All right. It's got a detouch. I'll go to 16. I accept your terms. Your terms and conditions. Oof. Ready? Yep, here we go. They're building it. Ruthless Ripper can go. Swamp can go. Sure. This is where they exile my graveyard right now. God, they're, they're doing it. It's all happening. Oh, they didn't draw a card. That's interesting. It's almost like they want to have exactly five mana up. Never. All right, so you're dead. Do I just go to the next game or no? Okie dokie. Oh boy. What a time to be alive. What a time to be a beehive. If we had that flooded grove, we could have played this uh this this plummet, which would be nice. But we don't. Don't we though? No. Shut up. Just shut up. God. I like that they exiled our graveyard, too. That was a bold strategy, Cotton. Is Pyroclasm good against them? I feel like it's not that good. No. Doesn't kill anything, really. It just kills our stuff, I think. Yeah, that's what it feels like. Mike, it looks like you saw back to your old hairstyle. Did you? No. You didn't? No. You sure? Yeah. What if you did? I'm just saying, think about it. That's all. Assembler number three? He's so expensive, though. I'm tempted to splash this plummet, but they only have, like... The Fallen Angel's the only flyer that we've seen. I'm almost tempted to bring in the Primal Clay because it's a 1-6, which blocks all of their 4-4s and 5-3s. I do like Pillage, actually. Pillage on a land actually seems fine. We're halfway there. Oh, Quicksilver Dagger on this guy seems pretty good. What do you think about that? It's all right. God, you hate everything. I said it's all right. That's not excited, though. That's just, you're just a well, nerd. It's not really that exciting. Isn't it? No. God, why are you like this? Why were you born in a trash can? Someone had to be. Yeah, I guess so. Look at this. Oh boy, we're building towards something. Boink, boink, boink. Burp, 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 burp. Plummeth, Bayloth, Null, Four Lands. Wow, that's pretty good. <laughs> Just kidding, it actually doesn't feel very good at all. Alright, well that's good to know. I thought you were going to have Living Death in your hand. Alright, Forest came down. I like that it's look at the hand so they're not in the revealed zone right now. That's pretty sad. So I'm just going to have to cross these out manually. Like a savage. Boom, 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 boom.
planes. All right. That plummet's kind of frustrating. Self-assembler. Dang it. You just have a handful of enchantments and removal. What problem is? Well, because it just gives them so much time to draw their stupid... Like, the next time they just play Baloth... Why didn't they play Baloth in all that turn, actually? That's what I'm wondering. Plummet is so dumb. This doesn't get better, so I'll just let them flip Ruthless for Brawl. Oh, it's just Anox Survivalist. That's interesting. What are they, four, five, six? All right. Baloth Null, one of the worst cards you could possibly have, I guess. Still Play not the forest. playing it. This is very strange. <laughs> Kill your black source. Oh boy, hope that hope that shows you. Oh dang it! <laughs> Foiled. Now they're gonna do it. Instead of last turn playing Bailoff, now they do it this turn. That makes sense. No, something for five. Green steam for two. All right, this is a really weird series of plays. <laughs> Time walk myself then. Get back two guys? Sure. Horror and Aberration. Wow, I'm glad they didn't get back Survivalist, actually. That's pretty sweet. Because now they don't get to kill this guy. I mean, they could put us on Counterspell, but like we, they just played it last turn anyway. So what, did they just stop playing around Counterspell one turn? I, I can't resist any longer. One turn is my limit. Four fives against the four four are not ideal, but Just don't play any flyers and their plummet doesn't work. This is true. I know. No. Now I'm wishing we had the other self assembler. Funny stuff. No, oh, horror just goes to the graveyard. All right. Well. Sure. Aberration. No attacks, huh? Yep. So we got to win in four minutes. It's pretty rough. Here we go. Never ends. Counterspell one time. Ghost ship. Guess we should have drawn that last turn just in case. Sure. So another hand is plummet right now. Mm-hmm.
This is an interesting trade. Aberration for a fallen angel. Wow, deal. Whew. That's actually very good. I guess we get rid of Willbender. Nah, I think it's curiosity. We know one of their cards is plummet. I really want to kill this Fallen Angel before they actually get to... But they don't actually have any threats, so we can actually just take a turn. If they play something that taps them out, or like gets them off the... Uh... They keep giving me a guy, which is kind of cool. I actually feel like we're in good shape here, which is really kind of weird. Yeah, might as well just tap this guy. I can keep up all the things. Yeah, I feel like we're in good shape now. They have plummet, but we have ghost ship regenerate, so. Might just let the ghost ship die. I think that's fine. And game. Wow, this was amazing. I thought we were dead. They have two cards. One's a cutthroat, one is another card. And that should be the end. Oof. Out there. Oof. That was good stuff. I guess we can get rid of this uh this hand. Oof. Do you want to change anything? I think our deck's good, right? You did fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Oh man. Rent went up at the beginning of the year actually. I just didn't ref it didn't have it reflect on the thing, so I just figured I might as well. Everyone's been really great about it, so. Wow, that was... What a game. I said what a game. Did you hear what I said? I did. My dad. I'll keep this hand. Do you want to mulligan? They didn't want a mulligan. How come my opponents never want a mulligan? I don't know. It's rude. Sonny or Mike, baby. All right, no. Do you just keep any hand with Counterspell and they've in it? That seems good. I think so. Look at this little idiot. You got Another it. black green deck, huh? Yeah, they're real good, apparently. I bet they all have living end. Living death. Living dend. Living dende? I feel like we can just keep this guy back in case they want to... Like, being able to flip this guy is real good. We can just play that guy on turn, like, five. We'll just keep counterspell up forever. No blockerinos. I think I'm dying. Why? Starvation. Why didn't you eat? Didn't have the opportunity. You you didn't have the opportunity to eat? Yeah, it never came up. But I you... guess I could have had a piece of apple pie, but that'd be pretty savage. <laughs> 
I mean, if you woke up before 5 p.m., I feel like there's plenty of opportunities. <laughs> like, there's well, how do you know I woke up at 4 p.m.? There's literally as many opportunities as you make for yourself. <laughs> um, you just choose not to make any. Therefore, you don't actually get to eat. Look, Jund. Look at these two little cuties. Cause of death, a sweat, and then the epic. That ain't that the truth. Ain't it, Michael? I guess so. I guess so, Dad. Oh wow! Look at you. It's not like, your dad. What'd you say to me? I'm not your dad. I'm okay, Dad. They got another mountain? Two mountains? Good lord. This opponent doesn't even know what's happening right now. Okay, why are people putting slices of cheese on apple pie? The first time I heard of this was in Taxi Driver. Where he talks about a warm slice of apple pie. A slice of apple pie with a warmed up with a slice of cheese on it. And ever since then I was like, why, who would ever have a desire to do this? It was very strange to me. I was not comfortable with it. I don't really like sweet things with cheddar. That seems weird. Right, that's too savory and too sweet at the same time. At the same time. I just want to bounce to this guy to see what he is. I just want to, I want to see all your secrets. Show me your secrets. Like instead of cheese, how about ice cream? Hmm? It seems better. That's a, that's a, that's an alternative dairy product that I could support. What if it was cheddar cheese flavored ice cream? That's not a dessert. That, that's not a thing I would support. Oh, I like that we know that they have this because now we can just shoot it with a Niv Mizzet. Wow, they're just cycling all their things because they clearly have living death. Because <laughs> doesn't everyone? All right, you played that. Good to know. What is happening? Oh, God. Seven mana? Eh, that guy's annoying. I'm going to assume you don't have a living death. Because it makes me feel better. Prepare to be wrong. Prepare to be wrong. I mean, if they have it, it's utterly insane, right? We just can't beat 6-5, six, 6-5. Five, six, five. If they just block here, I'm, I am I feel like we're dead. Yeah, we're dead. Literal dead. I might as well play it if they don't have yeah, it. Yeah, it's like we have to play it because otherwise... Like, even if we don't play it, like, we don't recover from 1-1, one, 6-5, one, six, five, six, five, four, five, four, four, 4 pumpable. Like, I'm just going to close my eyes because every opponent has it. <laughs> Well, they haven't snapped it off quite yet. Why wouldn't you? You just snap it off immediately, right? I would think so. Wait. Uh, mm, mm. There's a sweat. I'm waiting for the uh, epic. There's definitely a sweat. Oh, my God. Oh, they, oh my God. Oh, Jesus Christ. They actually had it. You don't know why I played the counter spell in the six five when we or the the the, the six five when we only have a two two on board. That seems like a weird. I mean, like because we're not like we we have no reason to play around the rare for the second match in a row. I didn't know. Like when I say they have it, I don't actually know that. Like. I just say it as a meme and then it ends up being true. Like, that doesn't, there's no factual, like, that doesn't mean I know it. Arcane Denial clearly comes in. Oh, God. It's so dumb, dude. Could have freed it from the real? Freed what from the real? <laughs> what? They cycled big dudes before they had the mana to cast it.
Oh my god, I... Oh no. Meant to hit keep there. Cool. Well, that was a sweet series of games. I'm pretty sure that first hand was great. Yeah, the first hand had Counterspell, Nimbizit, and Three Lands. Yeah, it I was think really that, hand was, good. that hand was actually just fine. It might have been our best possible hand. Just give me a land. We can Quicksilver Dagger out of this mess. Thank you. I'm just trying to make you feel better. Just believe it was bad. <laughs> oh my god. Back to back living index. Living death. Whatever. I don't even care. I'm just going to say it wrong. I don't even care anymore. How is this real, dude? They have a green here, so that's interesting. We have Arcane Denial, which is nice. That's cool. That's almost like another card that we just don't get to play. We can hit a land, we can play a Soul Bright Flamekin. Ladies and gentlemen, Soul Bright Flamekin. I think we can play that without a land. I'll play you without a land. Yeah, but I want to keep up Arcane now. I'm just going to close my For eyes because every opponent has it. Whatever, man, just shut up. Do you ever think about that? I can't believe they had it, dude. God. That great that first match was fantastic. Second match, pretty much doo-doo. Can they just stop having it? It's all I want. Can I just hit another land? No? Draw on two cards a turn, get stuck on three lands. Cool story, bro. But it was not a cool story. But it was not a cool story. See, now I'm worried about it. Let's see what you are, you stupid dummy. No, oh, an Alex Survivalist. No green, though. Hey, that's pretty good. Well, I'm not going to attack my 2 1 into your 1 1. So that was turn 5, right? Yep, missed two land drops, even though we got Quicksilver Dagger online. Hey, that's pretty good. Yep, play that guy. We can't even kill your Survivalist with a Skeletonized, so you're just going to. Straight up shoot my dagger. This is a tribute to the best sidekick we got. Mike, I will try and give this a shot. I don't think you are that really the really that bad, even though every guy seems to be your dad. You are on constant sidekick duty. You are this stream's little cutie. Just cut the ice chewing and we're good to go. Can you sleep less? We'll never know. Nevertheless, we kinda need you, but shut up, you stupid Mike Barbaboo. <laughs> well done. That's gas. Yeah, we have no land. If they played it face down, I'd be like, cool, awesome. Kill it. We actually missed two land drops, though, so we don't get to play the same kind of magic that our opponent does, unfortunately. Two separate magic... Uh... Two separate magic games going on. Oh, nope, not... Hold on. One more time. Absolutely unbelievable. Wow. 14, we've drawn 14 cards. We've hit three lands. I'm just going to keep up Arcane Denial at this point. So you have a Tusker in hand. Sure. I just want to draw the one card from Arcane Denial. Doesn't seem like I'm asking a lot. Oh, you're just going to cycle it. Sure. Cool beans. Well, there's a hunter sighting. I'll play my forest. All right. He ruined the illusion. 
That's cool. What's the point of a green screen when you got a dog screen? Oh, it was an Irish shaman? It wasn't even the stupid idiot one? Dang. Hey, it's a land! What a time to be alive! Of course, it doesn't really do much, but hey, look, it's your other friend. <sighs> Boy. All right, they found it. That's cool. Actually, what if we just discard Niv Mizzet here? Like, can they even living in if we have Niv Mizzet in the graveyard? Yes. And then we just untap with Niv Mizzet, and then if we draw any, like, any shooties. Really wish Morpheus of the stack so we can actually uh, kill this guy before they pop it off, but. What if we win this game anyway? That'd be pretty funny, right? There's a chance. So you're saying there's a chance. Also get mana war back if uh, if they living end, which can bounce one of these idiots. What was the last sub? Last sub was two hours ago. Man, you guys are. Slowing down. My last sub was about a week ago. Doubt it. Probably had your last sub yesterday. <laughs> you about a friends. week ago. Just going to play this guy. Niv Mizzet in the graveyard is like our uh, living end insurance. Sure. Grenzo. That's cute. Don't be gifting people subs. You can't do that. Um. Interesting. I guess we'll just put self assembler in the graveyard. Play a land. We're one shy of Genjuing, but Genju does win us the game next turn. So that's pretty cool. How does Genji win us the game? Uh, we attack for three and three. Oh, I thought it was a two-two. Yeah, so even if it was, it's three and two. That's still five. No matter if it's a two-two or a three-two, it still kills them. I may have thought they were both two-twos. You didn't know this guy's a three-two. Mm. By now, also Niv Mizza just kills them the game. It kills kills them the game if we if they do it because um it would deal them one when we drew and then we attack for four so. Put the bottom card of your library in your graveyard. If it's a creature with power less than or equal to Grenzo's, put on the battlefield. So you can just start Grenzoing. Grenzo. Grenzo. 
You can't escape my eyes. You went to four? Bold strategy, Cotton. How did we win this game? I mean, we didn't win this game yet. Let's not let's not go crazy. Man, yeah, we probably won this game. This feels like a like a baby attack here. Um, could you please explain to me what a baby attack is? It's an attack a baby would make. Stupid Mitch. <laughs> is that funny? Man, oh god, what are they playing right now? That's it? So you're dead. Like, unless you have literal lightning bolt. <laughs> well, it wasn't lightning bolt, but it was just the same. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. How do you deal one point extra damage? You can't. Hmm. We're not dead. No. Nope, not doing that. I'm watching the lights. You can't escape them. We can only tap one of his guys, though, right? Oh, we tap this guy. Well, that'd be... Hold on. I don't think that would work. Though. We don't have enough mana. We go one, two, three for freed, and then we go tapped. Like, it's... We don't have enough... We don't have anywhere close to enough mana for that. I mean... You know. I do like to look at his hand. I like to look at your hand. Let me look at your hand. No. Let me see it. I want to see your little hand. All right, they got to land. That's a good one. Here we go. Here we go. It's going to be a bail off. No. Play Wendy. You dead? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Exactly. We're exactly dead. Amazing. I actually don't have words for this match. Literal zero. Well. Sometimes you get rared out. So if we triple activated the elemental, it would be one, two, three, four, five, six. We don't have another, we don't have two blue sources to activate freed from the real. We'd have zero blue sources. So like, I mean, that match was a GD train wreck. They go living death and they, they won with living death and plague wind. Like those are the two cards they won with. They won with rares. After we accidentally mulligan, and they barely won after we mulliganed accidentally to five cards. So, what can you do? I guess that's worth four packs, which is 28 tickets. <laughs> Seems reasonable. Eesh. I actually don't. I feel like Pyroclasm has not been great for us so far, so. Oh, well, of course not. We played against two Living End decks. Living Death decks. Whatever. Living decks. Living Death decks. Den death. I don't know. Just stop. I'm just having a mild just, stroke just, right now, and I can't. Just stop. Oh, wow. The old upkeep brainstorm? So you draw three, put two back, and then you draw one of the three you put, one of the two you put back. So you're literally just drawing one card. Uh-huh. But you don't actually get one of your mana this turn? This is all very strange. I agree. When they're 25 ticket drafts, 2-1 one, one should give you 3 packs and 1-2 should give you a pack. I completely agree with you. I'm tempted to just play this guy face up and then Quicksilver Dagger it next turn. I don't think I'm going to do it though. I can wait. Well, on the bright side, it's a blue-red deck, so they're probably not living-deathing us. 
I guess we have that going for us. We probably just have the same combo we do. Oh, browbeat. Interesting. I'll. You draw three cards. Let's just take five. I don't like taking five here though. Like they're they have they're at five cards. They draw two cards basically. This is a divination. Wait, what happened? They cast it targeting me. It's the play. It's target player draws three cards. They took five. <laughs> Oh, wow. That's... All right, so I guess we don't have to... Uh, I guess we don't have to worry about that. What does... 3-0 gets you six packs. 2-1 gets you two packs. There's a four-pack disparity. And packs are about seven tickets each. So you get about 28 tickets more value by winning one match. It's pretty rough. I think five... Three... One would probably be better. But... I, that was pretty ridiculous. But, that ain't but brainstorm the most there. powerful spell in all of Legacy. <laughs> this is really this is what you guys want. <laughs> Ball lightning. See, this is why you don't take five from Browbeat because they're like, they're like they they're. This is the worst deck I've ever drafted. I've shamed my ancestors. <laughs> oh, man. Whew. The problem is there's only one person that goes 3-0 in any draft. Um, and there's two people that go 2-1 or four people. I don't know. I don't know the numbers. And then there's four people that go 1-2. So, like, you're giving out a substantial... Like, you're giving out, like, eight extra packs instead of... And taking away one pack. So, it, it doesn't... The math doesn't actually work out that way, unfortunately, but... I will not block. Or not attack. But it's Brainstorm. It's the best card in Legacy. That's you. I, I was there. Were you there? I'm everywhere, Jimmy. Jimmy. Oh, this is a late goblin. A late goblin. That's Richard Gorblin. He works down at the, the old mill. Right next to the Gentleman's Club. You think he works at the Gentleman's Club? No, he works next to it. You think he works next to the Gentleman's Club? Yeah. Do you? Yeah. Do you? Yes. We firing up? We. <laughs> what was that? That was the Hearthstone guy. The little, the little wee guy. I don't know that guy. You know the little wee guy. I don't. Don't pretend you don't know the little wee guy. He's firing up, Michael. But it's Brainstorm. Best card in Legacy. I don't like this frenzied jor jorblin. Oh, okay. God. Oh, God. Oh, God. It's happening. Err. 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 So it's basically the same deck as ours, except they have much more aggressive things like Frenzied Goblin and Ball Lightning and Browbeat. Let's see how safe this is. Look at... Hunter, stop, dude. I love you, but you're being real... It's not encouraging him. I'm not encouraging you him. You just have a Balduvian horde? Paying attention to him is encouraging him. You should know that by now. But he's so cute. I understand this, which is why I have to actively tell you not to encourage him. I love him more than anyone. Oh, freed from the real? We could just put it on you. And then... And then kill you, right? No. Yeah, sure. Yeah, sure. My name is Rachel. 
Actually, I think we might be able to. No, probably not. Ba boom 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 boom. Oh, get to eat a crab. You're Delicious. Re- you ever eat crabs before? Yeah, they're pretty good. You're pretty good. Thank you. I lied to him. He's not pretty good, guys. You're such a liar. God. Get him. I have no idea what he's doing. I hope this makes you happy, guys. If it makes you happy. That's a Sheryl Crow song, I think. Sure. Do not attack. My ghost ship's going to be taking you down. So if we make this guy unblockable, you take four, five, six. Recycled Toad, two months in a row. Thank you so much, buddy. Buddy. So we go one, two, three, four, five, four, five, six. That doesn't, yeah, it kills you with the condemn. And by condemn, I mean Kindle. Kindle M. Again, we only saw one creature that actually dies to a Pyroclasm. This is not been the Pyro, Pyroclasm is good in this format, but not against these decks that we've been seeing, so. Hey man, one more one more one more game potentially and then you can get some food. How do you feel about that? Feels okay. Uh feels okay. Uh, feels okay. Then it'll take us another hour to figure out where to eat though, so yeah. Well I'm probably just gonna eat something here. Oh, okay. Cause I got so much food that I gotta finish it. What do we do? We take this pillage. Are you going MTG? Are you are you going MTG Arena like every other streamer right now? Uh, I played MTG Arena for about an hour, and then I cried a little bit, and then I came back to Magic Online where I could do these drafts for y'all. For I mean, y'all, I'm gonna keep trying it, but I'm not thrilled with it right now. Uh, y'all. Yeah, if y'all know what I mean. I assume they have guys like us, right? So, I don't know what to bring in. Arcane Denial? No. Frank, could you say that match two was like rain on your wedding day or perhaps like the free ride when you already paid? Or maybe that good advice that you just didn't take. <laughs> good lord. You just didn't take. And who would have thought it figures... Mr. Play It Safe. That's not Cheryl Crow, but... Was afraid. That's Alanis Morissette. Why, yeah, why... I, I brought up a Cheryl Crow thing, and you guys ended up saying Alanis Morissette. I don't get it. Maybe they think they're the same person? That's racist. I don't think that is, actually. That's racist. Why does double cheese count as three of my four... I don't understand why extra cheese is like an expensive premium topping, and that's what I don't understand. Like when I'm like, I'm going to get a pizza with extra cheese. And they're like, oh, that's, that does Like if you get a one topping pizza, extra cheese never counts as the topping. I don't understand that. Also, I think extra cheese is kind of a scam anyway, because they can just put as much as they want. You'll never know if they put extra. It's kind of like an honor system. Can you send me a measurement of the cheese put on the pizza, please? <laughs> can you let me know uh, what, what kind of, like how much cheese you use normally? And then I want to also know how much extra you put on. I would appreciate that. Uh, recycled toad. Why? Recycled toad. Why do I think it sucks? Please, I will be put, I will be posting a video on YouTube tomorrow morning. Uh, feel free to just watch that because, boy, it was something. Mister, play it safe. Was, was afraid, afraid to fly. fly. He packed his suitcase. Kissed his kids goodbye. Yeah, I'm just bringing a one three in if we uh, if we end up playing around another round. He waited his whole damn life just to take that flight. And as the plane crashed down, he thought, "Well, wish I wish I played this two drop, but I forgot it was in my hand. I was so distracted by Alanis Morissette and and singing and God, I just literally just didn't play a two drop. That's how we lost. So once I ordered from Pizza Hut and what I wanted was bread with sauce and cheese on the side. All right. Well, that's weird. I don't. 
I don't know how comfortable I am with what you're saying right now. Oh, look, somebody got the Cascade Bluffs that we've been missing our whole lives. I really wish I just played this guy. Who would have thought it figures? Just play it safe. Was afraid to fly. I mean, they only have four cards. I, maybe we're okay. Four crads. Keep on rocking. What could this be? Skirk Commando? I think you gotta block this guy, right? It is me, the Skirk Commando. This is like the best. This is a this is a bad 2-2. Two -two. This is a 2-1. Oh, you're just gonna attack and then you're gonna pay the costs? Old announced combat kill my guy? That's weird. Oh, I see. It all makes sense now. Mike waited his whole damn life. Actually, we probably should have blocked this guy because they can't attack with Jackalpup if we drop Balduvian Horde. All right, don't be self assembler, I guess. Be that soul bright flamekin so I can feel better about my life choices. Yeah, whatever. I mean, my two drop can kill anything on the board. We're just hoping that this. Mystic of the the Hidden Way doesn't kill us first. Oh, Soul Bright Flame King can kill the Fent. All right, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We just lost. Yep, that was a good time. All right, Arcane Denial comes in. Waited his whole damn life just to take that fight, and as Mike B crashed. Of course, that was the match where Pyroclasm would have been insane. So I'm gonna bring the Pyroclasm back in. He thought, well, isn't this nice? I just had tofu fried rice and I'm still, I'm so full now I'm dumb. Highly suggest you, uh, tofu fried rice is actually excellent. I like fried rice. It's real good. Real good. Good, 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 good. Maybe I will get fried rice. Maybe you'll die. Maybe I'll die. You never know, man. Oh, they went to five though. All right, so maybe they accidentally mulliganed to five too. That dog's really... He's really needy right now. Needs an angel. Should I send him one right now, you think? Mm-hmm. All right, and uh... I really don't want to cast Arcane Denial because then they just demulligan, right? All right, we're looking good. Hey, we're looking pretty good. So today's been an excellent clip day, just saying. <laughs> That's fair. Oh, what is this? Oh, God. What is this? Why does double cheese count as three of my four? I don't understand why extra cheese is like an expensive premium topping. That's what I don't understand. Like when I'm like, I'm going to get a pizza with extra cheese. And they're like, oh, that's that does. Like if you get a one topping pizza, extra cheese never counts as the topping. I don't understand that. Also, I think extra cheese is kind of a scam anyway, because they can just put as much as they want. You'll never know if they put extra. <laughs> it's kind of like an honor system. Can you send me a measurement of the cheese put on the pizza, please? <laughs> can you let me know uh, what what kind of, like, how much cheese you use normally? And then I want to also know how much extra you put on. I would appreciate that. That's a, That was a good clip. I agree with that. And as he choked on tofu, he thought, well, isn't this nice? <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, good Lord. You guys are amazing. Oh, what up, crab man? I feel like now I have to keep the arcane denial up. However, if they block, I'll kindle this dude because I don't feel like any shenanigans. Don't do it. Do not block. God, I want to sift here so bad. I think we can sift safely. They can't go crazy next turn. Oh, curiosity to visit! You can probably get rid of skeleton eyes, right? No, because I want to be able to kill this next turn. 
So we skeletonize this next turn. And Kindle? Yeah, I like that. Arcane Denial is a pretty good, pretty good safe card to keep. You guys sound like real cheese sticklers. That was my stage name, Cheese Stickler. Oh, see? This is what we're afraid of. They're going to machine gun my life away. Except for the fact that I won't let it happen. Machine gun my life away? Not on my watch. Or we could let them... I don't want to let them untap and... It's cost four to equip, actually. We could have waited, but I just want to get damage in. So whatever. And we get an extra dude. Oh my god, you guys are actually ridiculous. I like that the, the chat just devolved into whose line is it anyway, chats. Alright, oh, double double flunkums. Keep flunking, boy. I feel safe about niv here because they're blue-red. So, I mean, like, I don't think they could actually have anything that kills niv -Mizzet. Famous last words. Here's Chandra's Outrage in hand. Oh. God, and then we have to really work for this victory so much. <laughs> you live a stressed life. It's just a ball lightning. We win. Spirit Guide, Mog Flunky number three. All right, we win. Niv Miz is going to be getting real curious, boy. Six, seventy nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I'll go to eight. He's getting real curious, ladies and gentlemen. So we draw a card. Shoot you. Always yield to that. We can't say always yes. Um, because if we say always yes, then we just literally deck ourselves. Yep. Shoots. Infinite combo. All right. So despite our round two loss to the second living death deck uh, slash plague wind deck, uh, deck turned out pretty good and I'm okay with it. So, and also our, our, our accidental moldify, but otherwise, what are you going to do? If you like the content, please feel free to like, and subscribe to those, those buttons. Don't subscribe to buttons, but smash those like and subscribe buttons. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.